Hi guys and welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very cool video as we're here to talk about the MetaQuest 3 and whether from today onwards or yesterday onwards it's possible to still use your Oculus Link cable tying up your MetaQuest 3 to your PC and make it work because there are reports online that I found where some users just cannot use it. They cannot use their Quest 3 with their PC using the Link cable whatsoever so is it that their link cable is now no longer working with the quest 3 but it used to work with the quest 2 is it a system update issue that you know meta need to roll out are you having any issues as well do leave some comments below let the community know if you know you're having any problems or if you found you had to change cables between your quest 2 and your quest 3 as it is very possible you may need to do that as the system is just different and sometimes things get updated and what was new six months ago is old today. So that's basically what it is. So what we'll do is we'll go and look at that report. Now, by the way, guys, this Saturday, I'm receiving my new PC. Thanks for taking the poll on Twitter. And I did ask you what kind of PC I should get. And luckily, um, I bought a i7 14th Gen 480 RTX NVIDIA. Um, I go with Intel and I go with NVIDIA because I don't just do gaming and also because we have so many other VR headsets like the DPVR E4 4K, the Pyrex Crystal, the HP Reverb G2 also. So Intel is a bit more stable than NVIDIA, uh, sorry, than AMD when I go and use so many different VR headsets including this one and the Pico 4 which is at work. But of course, I love AMD and if you have an AMD, great for you because I've tested it. And it is pretty, pretty awesome for some headsets, I must admit. So do hit the notification bell after you should subscribe as I'll be doing plenty of videos comparing virtual desktop with the AirLink, with the Link cable if it works, uh, and also comparing with the RTX 2070 i7 9th gen, which is the current PC I have, versus the i7 14th gen and the 480 RTX NVIDIA, which is coming on Saturday, comparing it with all these VR headsets and this one and a whole more. So, whew! Plenty of content coming. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go online and check out this report from this specific user. So let's just go there and let's go to the report online. Let me find it. So someone said, called Jules2524034, said on the community forum at meta.com t5, Quest 3 arrived yesterday, spent an hour trying to get it to connect via cable, exhibiting behavior, be uh, behavior below with its endless looking for PC. It eventually did connect via the cable and I had a brief, got a few games. I don't know what I did, anything different to the other times I tried to get it to connect. I went to try again this morning and it won't connect again. Tried for two hours, no joy. In the Quest 3 interface, it's searching for PCs forever and the PC it's on this screen forever. So let's go down. So, some, so basically we see a picture here where basically it says connect your headset and you know plug in the USB-C end of your cable into the headset. Then make sure that you plug, you plug the other end of the cable into a USB-3 port on your computer. Okay, so this shows that basically it's looking for it. Zoom in again, there we go. So some things I've tried, checked, rebooted, restarted multiple times. PC, Quest 3, Oculus software, factory reset for the Quest 3, put the Quest 3 into developer mode, USB port RSS, and I've tried different ones under device manager or USB R set to allow. Okay, so that's basically what he was trying to, to do that. On the power settings, this value is disabled. So USB selective suspend setting is disabled. There are errors in the event viewer on the custom views administrative events when I try to connect this device via cable so let me just make it bigger so you can see so you can see all the errors that are basically here although it's quite blurry but you can see it says error there is an error in the device manager when it's connected via a cable as well so there we go so this basically is a device driver issue it seems so i think it's got more to do with his cable itself to be honest with you as i had very very similar kind of problems uh, when I was actually using my HP Reverb G2 and I found that HP had to send me a new cable and then I didn't have that issue. So normally speaking, it is a cable issue if you have this error here, which is the one where it says unknown USB. This would not be normally a device issue. That should be a cable issue 
to be honest with you, but then again, I'm not quite sure. Let's just continue reading. Under events is the following device configured, USB.inf device, USB blah, 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 was configured. And then we have all the details of the USB device and all the failures that are here. Followed by device now started. And then we go to here. Airlink, I assume, was working and that connects right away. It says the PC meets the specs and they're all green ticks when you do the diagnostic check. But clicking launch, I get three dots forever or a black screen. But the main thing I want to work is the link cable. The link I'm using is this one here. Talk to, talking to a guy in support, he asked me to run this program here. I can attach that here, but can provide any files from it, any help, appreciate it. So there we go. So there are 13 replies. Um, oh yeah, the MetaQuest app is on the latest version also. So he said that basically it was updated too. Uh, hello, Herr Jules, we noticed you're having issues connecting the VR, uh, your headset to your PC. We understand, blah, blah, blah. Um, so we see you have done quite a bit of troubleshooting. Okay, great. First is manually in uninstall the PC app. So it tells them how to actually disconnect it and how to remove it. And then basically restart your computer, reconnect your computer to the internet, install. So basically do everything from scratch as if it's a brand new machine, basically, right? Uh, you can also try to enable the PTC on the PC app to see if that does the trick. Manually update your GPU to the latest version from the website. Make sure your integrate card is disabled and the dedicated graphics card is set as the primary. Update your PC and needed drivers using another high quality cable with excellent data transfer. So then Jules replied, I have got to go to work. I upgraded the BIOS on my motherboard. It still doesn't pick up the headset on the, on the SS USB port, but now works on the powered USB 3.0 hub connected to the PC. So this could, okay, so there we go. So it could either be a cable issue or it sounds to me like for him, that it works when he puts it on the USB 3.0. Of course, you need to put it on the USB 3.0. I've tried three times cables now, not working. Quest 2 worked, but Quest 3 will not recognize the cable. So this is by someone else called uh, because, re because Reasons. Um, and then Lucas2002 said, well, I've had the same issue. To be honest, I'm out of ideas. I spent $20 on virtual desktop and it was just way too laggy. I tried AirLink, uh, which people said it worked for them. But even with my Wi-Fi 400 Mbps, can't even run a solid 70 Mbps. Wow, that's a big issue. Maybe he's not in the same room, very possible, uh, on the Quest 3. The link cable would work and then it didn't. Um, it was only sometimes it would actually be able to play on this headset. Sadly, I'm having more frustration than fun with this headset. Everything I tried works perfectly with the Quest 2. So again, is it a cable issue that it was new back when they got the Quest 2, but all today with the Quest 3? <coughs> Excuse me. And you know, it's just a different system. Who knows? Or maybe the cable's gone. Who knows? Or is it a driver issue? Very hard to say when you're doing all the troubleshooting. It's very true. I'm having the same issue. Worked one day, both wireless and connected. Now neither work. Uninstalled Oculus app. Remove my headset from the devices. Now it can't locate the headset. This does not feel premium. So Syracuse also having the same problem. Now, I hope these are true, true reviews, of course, and true people, because sometimes, you know, it does happen that some people are just spamming boards or creating bad reviews for competing brands or whatever, whatever it is. But this video is going to tell the truth. Do leave a comment below, guys. Let me know, the community know, if you're having similar issues, uh, you know, as these people. Uh, I little word says, this is a power related issue. Specifically, the port on your motherboard are not providing enough power to the headset. I've had the exact same issue on and off with my Quest 2 and now 100% consistency with the Quest 3. As soon as I switch to plug into the power hub, everything works consistently. So if you're having an issue, guys, do try these different ways. The other one was to, um, according to boom, 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 uh, to plug into the USB 3.0, make sure you do that and try that. If you're still having an issue, try this with the power hub solution and let us know in the comments below what worked for you what didn't work if you had any issues of course and then another one said i found a solution i can connect but it's rare but when i do it's probably the most clear i've ever seen the meta home on pc pc vr ever however if you want to connect here's what i did to be able to connect every time this is kind of annoying and hopefully a better solution will come soon but for now keep the cable plugged in and power off your headset and then turn it back on after waiting 15 seconds or so. If it doesn't pop up, do it again. Eventually, for me at least, 
your link will pop up. If your link is laggy or won't load even after popping up, do it again. This should take about five times, which is, which is a while, but it's the only solution I found that works for me. So again, you could try USB 3.0, the Power Hub, or you could try this way. You know, let me know guys in the details below. And uh, Alan, Bernardo, Alan Bernardo said, exactly, I spent $500 for a headset that doesn't work. I'm not interested in Air Link. And there are actually more people here. So if we click page two, uh, page two, uh, it seems to be exactly the same. So, oh, it was it was on on page two maybe, and uh, no, it was on page one. But uh, okay, so more more people left some. Oh, maybe it's from here. Okay, this is not a power issue for me. Airlink won't even work. Uh, if it was a power issue, the wide link wouldn't work one day and not the next. I've got multiple USB A ports and C ports. I've tried. Last night, they are all working, including Airlink for me. I have restarted my Quest 3 and or restart my PC multiple times and randomly it will work. So it doesn't work all the time is what they're saying. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. So there you go. So what can I tell you? That's about it. So guys, let me know in the comments below if it doesn't work for you or if you found a way for it to work for you. Let us know in the comments because apparently there are some issues with the Oculus Link cable being plugged in from the actual MetaQuest 3, MetaQuest 3 to the actual PC itself. So Airlink for me does work. I have tried it and do hit the notification bell if you want to learn how to install Airlink. I will publish that video probably tomorrow as I just did the finishing of the recording today. All right, guys, hope you found this video useful. Smash the like so more people can get to discover today's video and we can grow the VR Essentials YouTube community together everybody so really appreciate it and do remember that this video by the way you do get 15 percent discount by going to cybervr.com link in the description below with the details by using the promo code vr essentials you can buy the elite strap you can buy the power bank and a whole bunch of different accessories using the promo code vr essentials 1515 15 percent discount i haven't yet tried their products i have to admit Full disclosure, they are being sent to the studio, so I will try them out. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, of course, so you get the lowdown as to how I feel about those uh, various different accessories. But if you're a DJ or you just want to take the chance and you want to save on the 15% now, then by all means, do go and check out their website, zybervr.com, where all the products are. All right, guys, until next time, check that video or maybe this video. I'll see another video very soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye for now. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.